Thank you very much indeed, Mr Speaker. I seek to leave to propose that this House should debate a specific and important matter that should be of urgent consideration, namely that this House has considered the revocation of the UK's Article 50 notification to the European Union. The Brexit landscape is, as we know, shifting literally by the day, but there have been some significant events recently that I believe have altered the direction of travel. Namely, the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition, Jeremy Corbyn, have been locked for six weeks in cross-party talks that have um, facilitated no resolution whatsoever. The Prime Minister has now stated she will bring back her withdrawal agreement for a fourth time on the 3rd of June, and all indications are that it will fail again. That being the case, we know that the Conservative Party have stated they will then look for a new leader, and that means a new Prime Minister for this Government. The suggestion is it is likely that will be a hard Brexiteer yeah. and a Member of Parliament and Prime Minister who may take this country towards no deal or leaving on WTO terms. So just when the country was breathing a sigh of relief and thought that the danger of no deal had passed, indeed this House has voted twice to ensure that did not happen, recent events for me have dangerously reignited this possibility. And just to remind everybody, no deal, Mr Speaker, means no transition period. That means the day after, no rules on tariffs, goods, movement of people, it means no security arrangements, it means that goods and medicines, for example, are not regulated in the way that we understand today. That ends overnight. And this would constitute a grave act of harm to our economy, our security and to the health of our nation. If it has not been possible to secure a confirmatory vote by that point on the 31st of October, then this House must seriously consider that it needs to look at revocation of Article 50 yeah, to stop the yeah, clock yeah, yeah. to enable us to stop a no-deal Brexit. Mr Speaker, I would very much be grateful to hear for your view on whether you feel this is an emergency debate that we should be having.